Chapter 2 Describing Motion 2.1 Understanding Speed In this unit, you'll learn how distant time and speed relate to each other and its relationship. Speed is the distance traveled by an object per unit time, and the equation of speed is speed equal distance over time. And here is a table of quantities and units of distant time and speed. And there's also a section for SI units. Also, we will learn how measuring speed is calculated in the lab. You can measure speed in the lab by an equipment called light gates. Here is a picture of it. And the light gates also use the formula of calculating average speed is uh, speed over distance over time. Light gates use the interrupt card to know when the vehicle passed through it and also calculate the time when it passed the light gate too. 2.2 Distant Time Graphs First, Ask your friend to describe how a vehicle moves inward and then you transform it into a graph. It will have a shape mm, like this one, like this distant time graph with the distance in the y axis and the time in the x axis. Number two, expect trains and slow bus. A train or a bus doesn't always travel on the same speed. It may take time for it to accelerate or speed up and decelerate or maybe slow down. Trains and bus doesn't always travel on the average speed. It will always speed decelerate or accelerate. 2.3 Understanding Acceleration Now first, what is a speed time graph? A speed time graph is to show how the object's speed changes as it moves. The steeper the slope, the greater the acceleration. A negative slope means deceleration, which is slowing down. And a horizontal graph, slope zero, means con constant speed. Now you can see the picture on the right over here. Section A is sloping upwards, which means the speed is increasing, and the train was accelerating. Section B is horizontal, which means the speed is constant. Section C was sloping downwards, which means the speed is decreasing and the train was decelerating. Section D is horizontal, which means the speed has decreased to zero and the train was stationary. Now, how can we find distance move in a speed and time graph? The distance is equal to the area on the speed time graph. Tips. The area under any straight line can be broken down into triangles and rectangles. Our area of a triangle is one half of the base times the height. And the area of the rectangle is the width times the height. Now, here's an example. We have to calculate the distance traveled in 60 seconds. We can divide the graph into two sections. The pink rectangle in which the area is 6 times 60 equal to 360 km. The yellow triangle in which the area is equal to 1 over 2 times 8 times 40 equal to 160 km. The total distance will be 360 plus 160 and equal to 520 km. Chapter 2.4 is about calculating speed and acceleration. So first is calculating speed. Speed is different from velocity. Speed only has magnitude, which is a number. Therefore, it is a scalar quantity, while velocity has a direction and magnitude, so it is a vector quantity. Speed is equal to distance divided by time, and velocity is equal to distance with direction divided by time. And the SI units are meters per second or kilometers per hour. Next is calculating speed on a distance time graph. Speed is represented by the gradient of the slope of the line. So step one is to identify a straight section 
of the graph. So here we have chosen this part. Step two is to draw horizontal and vertical lines to form a right angle triangle. Step three is to calculate the length of the horizontal and vertical sides. So you subtract the, the, this top number by this bottom number and this um, number on the right minus this number on the left. And divide the vertical side, 80 kilometers, by the horizontal side, one hour. And therefore, you get a speed of 80 kilometers per hour in this example. So the next uh, one is about calculating acceleration. Acceleration is equivalent to the rate of change of an object's velocity. So how much does the velocity increase or decrease with time? So the formula for it is acceleration is equal to final speed subtracted by the initial speed divided by time. Or in other words, A equals V minus U all over T where A is the acceleration, V is the final speed, U is the initial speed, T is the time, and the SI units are meters per second square, or meters per second per second. 